Ready or not, the 2016 presidential race is officially underway. Today, I am announcing that I'm running for president of the United States. GOP Senator Ted Cruz of Texas becoming the first to jump in. Cruz ripped Obamacare in what he calls the president's half-hearted war against radical Islam. He said Ronald Reagan's limited government boosted the economy in the 80s. And Cruz also spoke fervently about his own Christian faith. As we've been doing with other potential candidates, Democrat and Republican, tonight's what it means sizes up the chances of this first actual candidate. And his biggest problem may not be what you think. Do you like green eggs and ham? Critics in and outside of his own party poked fun at Ted Cruz for reading Dr. Seuss to his little daughters during a 21-hour filibuster against Obamacare. And Cruz was later blamed for a government shutdown over Obamacare funding. But that's not what's going to hurt Cruz with Tea Partiers and other conservatives since they wish GOP establishment leaders like John Boehner and Mitch McConnell would share more of the Lone Star loner's backbone and stand up to President Obama. No, Cruz's bigger problem not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse I is that he's known mostly for running his mouth, not running a state like Governor Scott Walker of Wisconsin or Florida's Jeb Bush, Ohio's own John Kasich, or other chief executives. Republicans argue that Senator Barack Obama was an impressive talker who had run nothing and accomplished nothing when he was elected in 2008. And they say, look how that turned out. In other words, the GOP's many accomplished governors probably have an edge over senators, even brilliant and principled lawmakers like Ted Cruz who may be seen as better vice presidential candidates. But to see how Cruz stacks up against Hillary Clinton, go to fox45now.com in the top blog section.